Angela Gregg sits in a hotel room in Chicago. Her life changed completely a year ago. She's in the process of moving from Alabama to Chicago in the hope of bringing justice for her son, Mikel M.J. Moultrie Jr. M.J. was four years old. He was my only son and he was a brilliant little boy. MJ was having his hair braided with his father at this apartment over Labor Day weekend in September. Greg was out getting snacks. I heard gunshots, so many gunshots just right after another. And that's when the beautician called and she, she said that um, I need to come into the house immediately because MJ had been hurt. 27 bullets were fired, two hit MJ. I could feel it in my soul that my baby died that day. I know that we fought for two days to, to save him, but I knew in my soul that, that my baby um, was gone. I felt him leave me and uh, And my only thought was, you know, who took him from me? Like who could have done this to me? Chicago's gun violence figures make for grim reading. Last year was the deadliest for the city in a quarter of a century. In all, police data shows there were some 3,561 shooting incidents here last year, including nearly 800 homicides. Further media reviews find that nearly 300 children under the age of 18 were shot, leading to more than 50 deaths. Elizabeth Ramirez's son, Harry, was killed in 2011. He was at his own birthday party when a masked gunman walked in and started shooting. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of seeing so many kids getting killed and mothers going through my pain. In response, Ramirez set up Parents for Peace and Justice, a non-profit that helps prevent violence and provide care for those affected by it. It's getting worse. The, the, the violence has raised up too much. Um, more children are getting killed. Uh, more are getting away with the murders. Both Ramirez and Greg feel it is time for more radical steps to solve Chicago's gun violence problem. You're asking my personal op opinion? Bring in the National Guard. Children are dying every single day. Children are dying here. Um, bring in the National Guard. Bring, it, bring us help. We need help. We need this to be controlled. We need it to be contained. Greg continues her fight for justice for MJ. She hopes that if she can achieve that, it will also offer hope to other mothers who have lost loved ones to gun violence and send a message to those that commit such crimes. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.